I'm Ben Lance, reporting for the Algonquin Times. I got a chance to speak with the Ascot Royals before their March 15th show at the Observatory. Let's hear what they had to say. Out of our band, it's a really uh, broad spectrum that we've tried to narrow down in something that we still enjoy playing and we hope people enjoy listening to. We've been compared, what was it? One time someone's like, it, it's Killers meets Franz Ferdinand with a touch of Van Halen. The Ascot Royals explain why their sound is so unique. I think each one of us has something different, so that's why it varies so much. I'm very much oriented to blues by so Even Zeppelin, I consider Zeppelin blues. I would say. Yeah. Something like that, like harder, and uh, even going back earlier, like, you know, even stuff like BB King or Motown influences. Formed in 2008, the Ascot Royals had trouble naming a band with so many influences. We spent honestly a month trying to find a band name we were going through and we were getting sick of it. But then Jimmy and I grew up in a place called Ascot in England. And the Royal Ascot is like the Kentucky Derby of England. And it's got a very, and we've always, we, we've always been, we felt that we should dress and appear in a, in, a, in a somewhat smart, smart way when we're presenting our music so people can take it seriously. Ben Shavo shared the band's vision for 2010. Play as many shows as we can, uh, meet as many people as we can, have as much fun as we can, and we're going to make this our life, whoever we're making $20 a day each or anything else, you know?